Another New Jersey rapper, Albi Al, was very critical over Jack and the Takashi 6 9 wave, even distanced himself from New York radio. Uh, how did you feel about the 6 9 takeover? Um, they happen every day. So, you know what I mean? Like, I try not to get in, I try not to get in, I try not to, uh, get tuned, like, tied into with all, like, the new guys. Because, like, the ones that happen fast, they always go fast, you feel me? Like, when you think about, just think about some of these dudes, you know, I'm not gonna say no names, I would never want to start no bad relationships, but you just think about reality or the way the industry work, you feel me? Like, right now, this summer, there might be three or four niggas that everybody's bumping. Three summers ago, that was somebody else. But you got your forevers. You know what I mean? I'm talking about your J. Coles, like your Drakes, your, your Kendricks. There's certain motherfuckers that's just on the radio, your Meeks. You know what I mean? Like, it's certain niggas that when they make music, we gonna listen. And then, but when you stop and you think about it, you're like, damn, when the... Excuse me. Bless you. When you stop and you think about it, you're like, damn, when the last time I heard... When the last time I heard... You know what I mean? So you try not, I try not to get caught up into those type of rappers. You know the ones that pop up real quick. You know what I mean? Everybody going his song come on in the on the, you know what I mean? Some shit come on in the uh, in the summer. It's crazy all summer. Two summers later, it's like man, we ain't heard nothing. You know what I mean? Type shit. So I try not to get caught up in that shit. You know, but um, jail is a bad situation for anybody. It's fucked up. You feel me? I heard he told. I ain't see like I'm really a strong believer, and if I ain't see paperwork, I can't believe it. You feel me? Type shit. So I'm not saying he's not a rat. I'm just not too tapped into it, you feel me? But from what I'm hear, what I hear, you know what I mean, type of shit. But you know, it's a fucked up. The jail part of it is crazy. It's fucked up. Jail's not cool. Yeah. So with everything playing out now, you know, in the whole trial of all these guys with six nine cooperating, do you think Treyway Shoddy had any choice but to cop out and plea out to the feds? Um. I mean, like, everybody's, every every jail situation, like, everybody's situation is specific. That's what I think a, a lot of people fail to realize. You know what I mean? Like, every single jail case is different. You know, a person that get, like, uh, a guy might go and catch a charge, whatever his charge is, just put blank for whatever the charge may be, and he might be looking at somebody that does half the time he does or, or you know what I mean, does more than he do or just gets off his scot-free literally every single jail situations are like snowflakes you might think you know it oh i had a gun charge i did five years he was supposed to do he told like that's not the way it worked you know what i mean when they hand you a discovery that's what you have to live by you understand what i'm saying like whatever make whatever's in that folder it makes best sense for you is what you have to do i don't know what's going on with the people you just named you feel me so i can't say whose decision was right or wrong or how you supposed to go about it you have to live by what's inside that folder and anybody that's been in that wall and in that situation and behind the walls they know that i'm not talking about what nobody talking about i'm not talking about what the streets say i'm not talking about none of that shit i'm talking you have to answer your questions by what's in that folder because that's your life you know what i mean so if if, if shoddy if he did cop out i'm sure it made sense you have to be logical. You can't play with your life. You know what I mean? It's at the end of the day, it's fucked up whatever they did. I'm not talking about what they were accused of anything. That's another black man about to go up the road. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a fucked up situation, period. He had to think logical about it. And I'm sure that's probably what made the most sense for him with people around you running their mouth or how it played out. You know what I mean? But every situation is different. Make sure the niggas run around here buying these chains, these belts, these watches, and these cars and shit. Make sure them lawyers is on deck. Make sure these lawyers are on deck because that's what them people respect. Them people respect, no disrespect. Them people respect money. Them people respect suits. Them people respect network. You know what I'm saying? So you walking down there with a with a fifty dollar pool attorney, they're gonna treat you like you have a fifty dollar pool attorney. You walking there with a sixty thousand dollar lawyer, you might be walking out of there with your lawyer. Yeah, it's like you said. Uh, I remember in Miami, I get caught with a gram of weed. I go eventually do the class, right? I'm sitting in class right by this dude. He had got caught with a quarter pound of weed. Yeah. Why am I in the same class? Why am I in this? Because it's just different strokes at different strokes. That that might have been your first time. It, this, this might that, that might have been his first time. This might have been your third. You know what I mean? It's just different cases in the world. We talk about different states. We talk about different laws. We talk about different lawyers. Like people just we just in a world right now where people would rather speak more than they would rather do their homework on it. You know what I mean? Like it's so many small loops and holes in between jail shit that people don't even. My lawyer. And the judge could have fucking went to Syracuse, the university together. John, this is a favor. This kid's paying me 100000 John. 
He's paying me a hundred thousand, John. Like this is really a favor. Look, he don't even wanna. He don't wanna walk away free. He's cool with the five, John. Just give him five years for me. For me, you owe me. Come on, John. Orange men, John. Orange men, come on. Damn, you busted my ball, Scotty. All right, I got you. Now to the streets, a motherfucker gonna say, "Wait, hold up." Such and such a matter, such and such a matter. Nah, man, there's no way he did that, man. He got to be. But you don't know that Johnny and Scotty went to school together, and he was saving up his money, and he didn't have a problem investing in that $70,000 into somebody with a suit that know what the fuck they doing. 